Old school bitches. bitches. Oh, I missed accounting. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Weekend RPGs is back. Yay. And wow, we're doing... Matt, you might want to move the cursor. <laughs> it's bothering Elliot. Speaking of which, Elliot, welcome to Weekend RPGs, buddy. Yeah. He's our new guest commentator. He said you guys wanna, and you guys said we want to do that. And he just it just bit the shit out of Gengar. And I goofed. So meanwhile, Matt, you had one job. <laughs> for, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> just click play when the video's ready to go, and now you have to full screen the video. And uh, per Matt's request, <laughs> Joe Cough. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Nobody ever names the kid Gary. Or Blue. That's his, his name in the game is Blue. <laughs> well, he does but act us, like a joke off. <laughs> but us, we fuck with that. Oh, You're living in the old days there, Johnny? Oh, uh, you're, you're playing the SNES. <laughs> okay, so according to the mom, all boys must leave their house one day. It says so on TV. What is she referencing? Stand by me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I never watched it. <laughs> hey, Johnny. <laughs> So apparently the school system in this in these worlds are met with universal disdain. <laughs> and thus, instead of sending kids to academic institutions, just throw them out in the fucking wild. At ten years of age. So the moment you step out of the town, Professor Oak will stop you, realizing Smack it's Smack you across the head. Yeah. He's pretty <laughs> angry at that, too. <laughs> yeah, he does have a distinctive angry brows. Ugh, this little shit. <laughs> trying to leave without a Pokemon. <laughs> Oak doing? is angry! <laughs> <laughs> Joke off! Let me think! Jesus Christ, I hit my ears. Jeez, dude. <laughs> I didn't pick up on all three. <laughs> <laughs> so you are given a choice between one of three Pokemon. No, they look like we're going to throw balls. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to learn how to juggle. <laughs> so you're not going to give the Pokemon nicknames? At the, at the time of this recording, no. Because I suck at nicknames. Dude, so, I, all I want you to do is now I guard a Skullcracken. <laughs> Skullcracken? <laughs> yeah. Why Skullcracken? Well, one, I think that's its either Japanese that's or its German a, name. It's its original name. Yeah. And it's a badass fucking name for a girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because fuck you, Skullcracken. If or you win the first two matches Kraken. against Gary, he, uh, the Eevee becomes a Jolteon. One win and one loss, it's a Vaporeon. Or two losses, it's a Flareon. Or the other way around. I never remember the exact order. So wait, does the game take pity on you for two losses? It chooses <laughs> the weakest of the Eevee Illusions? Yeah. <laughs> And that's our very first ever Pokemon battle, ladies and gentlemen. God, what a dick. And may I remind people that we are only... How long that? it? <laughs> Seven, Seven and minutes, and half minutes. minutes. <laughs> If we were playing Gen 4 and above, we'd still be walking in the damn town. I don't want <laughs> I So at this Bulbasaur point, I trained Bulbasaur level 10 in Route 1. The only thing you're going to fight in Route 1 are Pidgeys and uh, Rattatoes. Yeah, to wait until Route 1 for that kind of training, I would have just trained them in Viridian Forest. Well, maybe there's a damn good reason why I trained in level 10. <laughs> That I am. <laughs> <laughs> so you talk to this dude right here, the very first dude you do, you see, he will give you a free potion. So you're out to Viridian City? I'm on the road to Viridian City, yes. CITY! <laughs> you can head here to learn some, to learn all about the status types you can inflict a Pokemon. That includes, uh, let's see, uh, Slip, Burn, Piss, and Furs, Part, and Quit. <laughs> I, I hate it when a Pokemon quits on you. <laughs> <laughs> it just loses all its... All, it, Believe it or not, there is kind of a status that resembles quit. <laughs> Gen 5. The uh, Pokemon uh, Ar Arcan and Archaeops is defeatist. It just, after halfway, it loses half itself, it quits on itself and drops its attack power. <laughs> Alright, you should deliver Oak's package, and then he will have a request. He wants you two to take Pokédexes, pretty much an encyclopedia. That's blank. You would think it would work like the anime where you could just I am and go, okay, there's some information on that Pokemon, but no, you gotta cash it first for yeah. some reason. Really? Yeah. Well, I can honestly see that happening with, like, faster Pokemon. Hey, there's a buddy! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Entei, the... Oh. <laughs> oh, Christ. Lugia. Good luck catching that. So this is... What this the, is the fuck is a Deoxys? <laughs> so for our first visit into the mar... By the way, you can't buy anything until you deliver Oak's package. Yeah. Uh, so I would recommend five Pokeballs and five antidotes. Something tells me we're going to need the antidotes. I used to buy 15 as a kid and just come back here 15? every time I need to heal. You're, Shit. You're, you're a high roller. <laughs> <laughs> I always got to have six counterfeit. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes Magikarp because I love you. Hey! <laughs> Magikarp are just the derpiest little fish. No one likes Magikarp. Says you. You don't like Magikarp, Matt. 
You like what Magikarp transforms into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it worked damn hard to get there. And I respect it. So you friggin' hypocrite, though. Ain't no friggin' hypocrite. You're, you are being a hypocrite, because... I like Magikarp right, anger. You're no friggin' hypocrite. You are not friggin' hypocrite. In Gen 5, Spiro gained the ability to learn Drill, drill Run, which allows us to hit Steel types. But Furo's attack isn't exactly high enough to make Steel types go, Ow, ground. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Only truly skilled trainers are allowed through. You don't have. You don't even have the boulder badge yet. Get the fuck out of here, peasant. <laughs> why, why, is that, why is it that I imagine like he he just gives him the um the Uncle Phil treatment, just throws him out the door. <laughs> <laughs> the jazz treatment. Yeah. You gonna read the sign from the side like that? <laughs> yep. Uh, this is the see. side of a side. Line. Oh, that's helpful with that line. Welcome to Viridian Forest. Bug, 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 bird, rat. <laughs> <laughs> I've had worse. Ah, uh, that rat. That fucking rat. You found a caterpie in the red version, you lucky dog. That is a 5% encounter rate, ladies and gentlemen. And had I known that if I was... Because at this point in time, I wasn't... You were thinking you would find another one? No, no. Because at this point in time, I wasn't sure if I wanted to, I wanted a Butterfree for my party yet. Because uh, I was I was still debating on myself, and, and by the time I killed the caterpie, I realized I probably should have a butterfly in my party. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> my five percent encounter it was like I'm gonna have to stick with metapods. You have a higher chance of encountering metapods than cat caterpies. Problem is, metapods or kakunas only know harden in their state. And yeah. doing the switch out method with them takes longer than it would for an average for another Pokemon. Yeah. Interestingly enough, um, which what was I gonna say? What the? <laughs> I didn't move. <laughs> <laughs> you don't come to the Pokemon. The Pokemon come to you. Bug catchers. Fathom, I guess, what they're using. Yes, I th I they will use hentai. <laughs> I think they're using flying types. <laughs> that would be some shit. The bug catcher using flying types. No, they can use them. Butterfree's bug flying. Yeah. No, I'm just saying flying. And Beedrill. No. <laughs> <laughs> which kind of makes me wonder. Which, I, mean, I can imagine, like, Beedrill trying to having to realize that it's not going to be using a bug flying type. Yeah. And it just gets off on his own tries running with the needles. <laughs> It can only fly when it believes. And uh, another thing we should get out here, ladies and gentlemen, as per Matt's request, because I was heavily against it, but why not? We're showing off every trainer battle. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on, Jellyet. <laughs> Did you say Jellyet? Yeah, Jellyet. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I could have sworn I said Elliot, but no, I, no, if I said Jellyet, I, 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 I said heard Jelly. a J in that. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> You know, and, 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 and other playthroughs, earlier playthroughs, I always ran into Pikachu like in my third or fourth encounter. Not here. Oh no, because I'm recording myself. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not kidding. We're, we're going to be jump cutting, obviously, but uh, shit you not, guys, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 wow. minutes wandering in this damn forest. And I was fighting every single fucking Kakuna I met upon in my way <laughs> while I was searching. <laughs> Let for me guess, Spiro became a Fira? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> When you hear the name Butterfree and the way it's spelled, you, you just, you, I'm just like imagining you're just throwing like giant cartons of butter out. I am the Butter Liberator! <laughs> now go, now go, my fr my friends! <laughs> Be free! <laughs> New Butterfree Butter. <laughs> I can't believe it's not Butterfree. Butter free. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I hate about the NPCs in the Pokemon games, unless they're bad guys, they all sound like parts of the instruction manual. <laughs> <laughs> What so, if I don't want to go here? Get your ass in there, boy. He takes off his belt. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who know of the missing note glitch, that's one of the sprites that could show up. Made me shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I never had the missing note show up as a fault. Go because your name, uh, you have probably had the certain characters in the right slots on the name. I always had the glitched up L block. But, I had uh, that too as well. I could, I could imagine that if I saw I that. I saw as that as thing. I, um, I literally... I, I honestly did shit my pants. I was like, oh, I gotta change. <laughs> <laughs> and with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we are at our very first Pokemon gym. You can talk to this guy to get an idea well of how to win. He looks like that kid you would beat the crap out of. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, look, you look like you did a pin slap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wake up slap isn't until Gen 3. I can just like imagine like everyone... And that every, joke like, off won the freaking battle. I remember uh, this one asshole bitch in Gen uh, 4. I was in Byron's Whoa, gym. That guy was really me, asshole bitch. Oh, no, <laughs> no, this one. It was this. It was one of the uh, female train. It was the only female trainer in the gym, I think. Yeah. You're fighting steel type after steel type after steel type. You get the heart. She hits you with an Azumarill. <laughs> Sandshrew. <laughs>
<laughs> what did it do, Elliot? I'm imagining Elliot is Sand True in a TV show. Oh, you! <laughs> oh, that's Sand True. Oh, it caused another earthquake. Idiot rascal. <laughs> Gen 2 is that way. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he pointing further into Kano? <laughs> You know, one time I raised an Onyx up, I thought it'd be really great, an awesome Pokemon like that for me. Yeah. And then I took it into Pokemon Stadium, and it got dirt duped by one Fire Blast, and I was like, well, I just, well, you were you, the uh, chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> just like that, Johnny defeated Brock. And this is Bide. Bide. And you tossed it. Yeah, I tossed it away. I don't need this shit. <laughs> yeah. why, why would you take only some of the energy and then give it back, doubling its, its health? Now we're on our way to Mount Moon. We have a lot of trainers on the way, so without further let's ado... Let's get... Let's start the ass whooping. Booyah. My booyah. eyes are right here! <laughs> they better be that she's underage. Yeah, she's 10 years old. Elliot, oh, 18-year-old. <laughs> hey, Sailor Moon's 14 years old. And the, age of, and the age of consent in Japan is actually 14. Congratulations! Here in America, it's 18! <laughs> hey, congratulations. So that applies in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, a little food for thought. Elliot, it's one of those things where you understand the cultural differences, but when it comes over to American shores, you kind of have to adjust yeah. that anyway. <laughs> it's called localization, dude. I like shorts. I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Battle time. <laughs> Shit. What does that have to do with Pokemon? <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> you probably tried to pants them. Hey, you're, hey, look, you're battling Ness. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, Radita. The youngsters ha are similar to junior trainers, except they'll actually use Pokemon in the sense of They'll actually really try to hurt you. They're more of an offensive kind of fighter. Yeah. So, okay, so Butterfree has the Orb of Confusion. <laughs> <laughs> we just hold it and you come numb. <laughs> Ekans, first poison type and exclusive to the red version. Ekans has a pain in the ass move called Rap, because in the Generation 1, Rap trapped you for two or five turns, allowing you to do fucking nothing! <laughs> Hey, okay. if you have you been paralyzed? Have you been poisoned? Have you been burned? You're fucked. Yeah, you're not doing a goddamn thing. <laughs> hey, Ekans is snake backwards. Yep. Arbok is cobra backwards. So if Ekans is snake backwards and Arbok is cobra backwards, what about Muck? Yeah, everybody makes that joke. <laughs> I'm just grateful the shiny wasn't white. Does that what? Uh. <laughs> 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 that doesn't help its case. This bug catcher's got Weedle, Cocoonic, Caterpie, and Metapod. Or, as they like to, we like to say here in America, bird food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, experience points. Metapod, use Harden. If you know what I mean. Everybody knows what they mean. Uh. Especially, after tackle and, especially after tackle and string shot and confusion. Oh, uh -oh. Jesus. <laughs> Way to make a double. Yeah, I didn't hear that one. Way to make a double entendre with Pokemon moves. Elliot, everybody's yeah, done that. Everybody does it, Elliot. You're but, like but, the but six million. But in a sentence, in a sentence, everybody does it. Doesn't matter. matter. You're like the six million person to make the hard joke. Well, with a muck joke. I right, go. When I peek at you, you make my wiggly tough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl, let me peek at you. I'll leave it up. You're a special. Yeah. <laughs> When it came to the psychic Pokemon Mr. Mime, they're like, we can't call this thing Mr. Mime because what about genders? They weren't really thinking about Gen 2, yeah. but apparently this thing made embarrassing amounts of money, so they thought, fuck it, now we got genders. And so Mr. Mime is now forever an anomaly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's uh, its name is something that's not, uh, it doesn't have a gender to it in the, its Japanese name. Of right, but here it did. And yeah, here it say, did, yeah. I'd, Gen I'd, 2 I'd... came around when we introduced genders for everything. Sabrina's Mrs. Mime kind of fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Transgender Mime. No, you, you can say Mrs. Mime, actually. Because it has an MR in, con in conjunction with the S. It can go both ways. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I, have that, I have a Mr. Mime breed with a lot of other Pokemon. It goes every way. <laughs> Get real sick of your shit, bug catcher. <laughs> Get sick of that Metapod's heart. Ah, eh, your bird loves it just fine. <laughs> wow, that, uh, let's try that again. Johnny Spiro has no problem with the bird using Harden. Uh, and we just talked to this shady dealer inside the Pokemon Center, and we, he just, just sold us a magic card for 500 Pokebucks. And Johnny's going to give it the most metal fucking name it deserves. Skull <laughs> Crack. Skull Crack. It. It's not, it's not, he doesn't have two L's. Skull. Yeah. Skull Crack. It. Skull Crack. It. <laughs> I thought there was enough character names for the full name, but... Uh, you know what? For Alligator, for Alligator doesn't have the uh, O in its name, but it is for Alligator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a given.
Mount Moon. All right, our first cave or cavern dungeon-like area. And where all the tiles that we walk on are considered like grass, and that means lots of random encounters. Son of a bitch. As that kid up there has just got see. another Caterpie Metapod. Zubat! Oh! We're going to be switching out Magikarp a lot. Oh, uh, Clefairy. But it's all for the greater good. Thank you. The greater good. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I do you think Magnum might breed? Ditto? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not sure, ditto. <laughs> it's always ditto, isn't it? Ditto's the whore. Yeah. <laughs> and it he loves it. Rocket grunts. Rocket. These guys will pretty much use uh, offensive Pokemon as well, much like the youngsters. But they'll tend to specialize in poison-type Pokemon. Poison and give or take ground. Which, if you have a Butterfree at this point with confusion, poison is your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> But this one has a ground type, so grasses now make fine your bitch. Whip go. Pokemon centers are free, ladies and gentlemen. If it really doesn't hurt to just take the minute to backtrack to the Pokemon Center, right? Uh, just to get a full restore for your entire team. Huh. It really helps when, a, when you get free health care in the world of Pokemon. <laughs> the world of Pokemon has Obamacare. <laughs> <laughs> so he's Pokemon Center. You're getting text. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Why is it? Why is it that the that the trainers have pointless shit to say and then they battle you? Uh, a, a lot of Pokemon games have that real reason. For well, honestly, I don't think it gets as worse than the the comfy line, the the shorts line. Uh, there are quite a few dumb ones. Well, or, or, go or, this way to the next town. Fight! <laughs> <laughs> See, dude, I get fight. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen my dog fight? <laughs> Hey, buddy, how do you like them ravens? Fight! <laughs> <laughs> I had a really rough night, and I fucking hate the eagles, man. Can you fight, imagine fight. Pokemon <laughs> battles prelude to sex? <laughs> what the fuck? You try to have sex with the missus, and then she challenges you to a Pokemon okay. battle? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I had in mind, dear. Oh, uh, honey, my Gyarados is tired. You don't, you don't get any unless you beat her in a Pokemon battle. Son of a bitch! What are all females are Amazons? <laughs> Again, the rap thing is no joke. Yeah, uh, assuming you, well, it's 12 levels, uh, level level 12, and I gotta switch out magic card, which means it's gonna get a move on me. So let's see if it's rap. And yep. that's a rap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think unless we could take a 12. I'm, 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 I'm so alien to Jim. I know it's, it's 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 been a very long time, and I'm just and I said I'm not putting a number on my ass. <laughs> I, I, just I, wanna, think, I, I just want to sound smirt. <laughs> smirt. <laughs> that's a joke. One day, Johnny, if you work real hard, you'll count the potato. <laughs> I dream, I dream. Your education will come into play soon. <laughs> I went to college. <laughs> At this point, Butterfree doesn't have sleep powder yet, so... No, it just hardens. Yeah. <laughs> Butterfree hardened! Thunk! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we caught the... Ah! <laughs> so, <laughs> I hate that shit. And thus, Johnny fell into the Twilight Zone. You won't believe my rare Pokemon. And, you, and then your character looks at the kid going, If it's any form of Butterfree or Beedrill, you're getting punched in the mouth. <laughs> and then he's got a real dilemma. <laughs> can, you like well, a, can you like imagine a golf commentator just commentating over a Pokemon battle? <laughs> <laughs> I've imagined that at least once or twice. And Spiro just plucked out the eyes of Academy. Look at it, devoured some entrails. Okay. Hey, it leveled up, it came fury attack. Well, hey, it looks like that bug catcher's brought Kakuna. Kakuna can't do anything, can they, Mr. Holland? You know, oh, Spiro's suffering under the terrifying debil debilitating effects of Pizzen. Oh, man, it looks like Spiro's poisoned. No, it's just logged onto the PlayStation Network. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't get PlayStation Plus. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that? No. <laughs> Okay, wait, we're we going for golf commentary or Bob Ross? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why can't it be both? Oh, okay. Bob, <laughs> Bob Ross commentary, Ross, go golf, golf commentary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Such a multitasker that man is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot to fight you. Oh, you're just a kid. Fight! <laughs> Hiker right now looks. <laughs> Damn, he's fat! <laughs> Hiker's become more and more jovial and more and more creepy late in later games. I can just like imagine he's like he's like doing a Pokemon battle while eating a donut. Chill, dude. You baffle. <laughs> Chill, dude. Chill, dude. Doesn't know baffle. What? <laughs> <laughs> Jolly. Nope. Jolly? Huh? <laughs> also, right, levels, also two Geodudes and an Onyx. Little uh, 
outro lá, só bom não, hein? <risos> Here's my giant dick! Your testicles have arms! <risos> Eradicate. No, even in general. Even in general, this guy's fucking. This eradicates at level 16. What the fuck? It's not only that. It's level eradicated 16 with Hyper Fang. Yeah. You're at a point in the game where even if you just were going through normally and you didn't like, like, like Johnny said, if you're playing it normally, even if you're just leveled up, the eradicate is no fucking joke. I wonder why it's called eradicate. Right and exterminate. It's what eradicate. 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 Yeah, that's what I was gonna go. That's what I was gonna go at. Actually, when you put it that way, it's like the laziest name ever. Let's put Eradicate, but remove the E. <laughs> Dude, Snake Ekans. Sure. Muck. Take out the last. Take out the no. last. Take out the last E and Eradicate, and you got Eradicate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just Eradita. No big deal. Exactly, Eradita. No problem. Eradicate. Fuck. <laughs> I've heard people pronounce his names differently so throughout the years. I hear Eradita. I hear Ratata. Ratata. <laughs> Tommy right. Gunner shoots rats. It's a rat. Ta -ta. <laughs> <laughs> I want a tattoo of a ratata. Oh, I now imagine a Tommy Gunner firing rats. <laughs> I know the Pokey rat pronounced it as ratata. <laughs> yes, that's my that's my rat. Rat. It's just shooting so many ratatas. <laughs> well, Caesar, yeah. You, you, you get the implication of like cutting, but it doesn't have like scissors for hands. Yeah, it does. It's pincers. Scissor. Yeah, you, I know what the name is implying, but it's not like he has scissors for hands. They're pincers. They're, pincers. they're, they're, they're scissors. scissors. They're not scissors. They're pincers. There's a total difference, Matt. No pincer. No, his hands are scissors. Hands is pincers. Really, Pittsburgh? The little pincer Pokemon? What? Oh what? no, <laughs> not like that. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Now, I believe it, uh, uh, the chance for a fully paralyzed uh, uh, a Pokemon attack to not go through is 1 in 3. About that. Around that, yeah. So not only does uh, paralyzation cut your speed in half. Paralysis. Paralysis, sorry. Paralysis. Paralysis. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think of polymerization. For the <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty much a gimme. You can't do shit. Yeah. Can't do it. It's just sitting there thinking, why am I in pain? <laughs> <laughs> is that a nap? <laughs> I can't oh. tell because my eyes are closed. <laughs> Pay oh. respects to your Lord Buddha. Oh, <laughs> it's just a splinter. <laughs> There's more splinters. Okay, uh, Johnny? What's up? Charmander will have Ember at this point. Yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget Leech Seed? What about uh, Elliot? Leech Seed ain't gonna co come into Jack to his dinosaur getting set on The fire. Charmander should be a Charmeleon at this point, but it's still a Charmander. And with him defeated, I would recommend just making a quick trip back to the Pokemon Center, and then we're After going he to... whooped your ass like a bitch. <laughs> I won. But he, he... It's a Pyrrhic victory. I won. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. This is the last. She's gonna have Pidgey and Nidoran male. The other one's gonna have Pidgey and Nidoran female. You fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played Gen 1 in years. <laughs> By the way, this one has this Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Mankey here will excuse Karate Chop. In this game, Karate Chop is normal, and it will always score a critical hit. I know that they say that they're based off of speed, but Kingler, a Pokemon slower than me with my pants at my ankles, <laughs> <laughs> always gets critical hits with its crap hammer. Yeah. So Sorry, anyway, he likes to join the Team Rocket. We're a group dedicated to evil. They're knowingly evil. <laughs> oh, so they admit it. Yeah. They admit it. Shit. I mean, I don't think you could look, do what you're doing and think, yeah, this is totally on the up and up. Yeah, I'm an asset. <laughs> the old 4chan <Fortran> mentality. <laughs> They're gonna make us an awful we can't refuse. <laughs> now I want Giovanni played by Don Corleone. <laughs> you, come to me. you come to me with this Pikachu, you make me an offer I can't refuse. You tell me to act. No, actually, you don't. You come around, you tell me to stop my criminal activity. I tell you to eat a sack of horse stick. You tell me to go fuck myself. I whip out my onyx, you squirt it with a water pistol, and it goes down. What the fuck am I raising? And now I'm gonna send a Dug Tree out at you. That can be defeated by even the weakest flying type Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Bring a weak flying. Bring a, bring a level 5 Pidgey to the Dug Tree battle and Giovanni is ace in the gym leader battle. It's gonna win. Yeah. Because he, he, Dug Tree can't do shit. He come to me. <laughs> And you bring me a Magikarp. <laughs> a Magikarp that only has one move called Splash, and yet it doesn't do shit. What kind of bullshit is that? I like went from Don Corleone <laughs> to Manic Depressive Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> but that is not just this. You know, it's I'm, just plain old stupidity. It's still Manic Depressive Luigi. Uh, um, I have to wonder if Giovanni just sort of won the rank of 
boss at Team Rocket just by pulling his name out of the winning hat. Yeah, I was going to say Raffle. Yeah. <laughs> and the winning ticket is... And the boss of our evil organization, Giovanni. Four, two, three, six, six, seven. <laughs> You've won a Master Ball. <laughs> I never won a Master Ball from the lottery. I never did either. Oh, like, Christ. Like, like Actually, was... the Pokédex entries wouldn't start getting dark until Gen 2. <laughs> But there was another episode I remember. Yeah, like, to see um, some of Gen 3's Pokedexes. There was, not. But there was another one I remembered when um, Hypno, they would actually, um... What the fuck was that? Abra. No, but that sound. But, like, they would, like, hypnotize them and they would think that they're a certain Pokemon. Like, that would, would, yeah, that was the anime. Episode. Yeah, they would hypnotize, they hypnotize um, Misty into being a seal. Yeah, this one kid... That keeps, was the same episode. This, this one kid keeps saying Arceus. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Kill the phonies! <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, because, you know, we're... Uh, we're Doing a single player adventure, I can't take advantage of any of the trade evolution, so um, I'm going to be sticking with Kadabra the entire adventure. No Alakazam for me. And no <laughs> child abducting Elliot like Gen, like the uh, Pokemon Burning Scratch run. Uh, what? Well, no. Elliot's that, a child that, abductor. Yeah, you were Elliot, the Elliot, 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 was a, Elliot was a hypno. Yeah. Why was I hypno? <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell am I hypno? <laughs> Elliot's just fighting this out now. <laughs> <laughs> Two fight. years later. I never knew this. Yeah. Shit. Ted named Pokemon after all of us. And I was him, though? Yeah. <laughs> well, you started as a drowsy. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna kill Ted. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we can give riveting Pokemon commentary. <laughs> Back to our golf commentary of, on a Pokemon battle. I have a certain use this vine whip as a grass attack with 30 type of tower. Basically, it's gonna be the grass equivalent of tackle. I heard they're doing something new with it in Gen 6. Like what? I don't know. They keep it under wraps. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like that the youngster brought a Spiro. What will John do? Brings out that skull kraken. He whips out a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty Spiro sure birds eat fish too, don't they, John? Spiro is confused. You know, I'm kind of curious. Do you think that he'll bring out a Spiro when he battles a Spiro? Just to get confused? Nah. If it, it would it would make the commentary sound utterly redundant. And now Spiro attacks Spiro. Spiro attacks Spiro. Spiro attacks Spiro. He's growl Spiro. No, it's Spiro. Oh, fuck. What's Spiro do? What's now? Which Spiro is which Spiro? Where's my Q-tip? Q-tip. Where's my Q-tip? <laughs> <laughs> Early on, they must have made Bugs weak to... Poison? Yeah, and apparently that got re kicked off because aside from Butterfree, Pinsir, Scyther, all the other bugs in, in Parasect, which had the grass weakness, so it's hard to vouch for that. Not to mention, it's a contradictory double type. Poison <laughs> bug. Yeah, <right. laughs> that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Dude, Gligar, ground flying. Oh, really? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there, are, there are such a thing as poisonous bugs. Well, well, yeah, yeah, no, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Mario says surprise that a poison bug comedy. No, I'm just saying. In the term, in, in the context of Gen One, it uh. makes no fucking sense. Yeah, it'll, yeah, it'll just spontaneously explode. <laughs> it, just, it, it it's born dead. <laughs> Go Weedle. <laughs> this is Chewbacca. He is a Wookie. No, that is Machop. <laughs> that makes no sense. Machop! Machop! <laughs> Machop's tail is fucking huge in this sprite. Flareon's the offensive specialist, Vaporeon is the special attack and, war and defensive specialist, and... Wait, I'm sorry. Vaporeon is the special defensive, HP, and solid special attack, Vip Eon. Jolteon is the high special attack and speed, Eon, and Flareon is for those who are idiots. <laughs> What do you say, Elliot? <laughs> okay, so Vampirion. Vampirion? <laughs> the ghost type. Vaporeon. <laughs> Vampirion. <laughs> Vaporeon. Vaporeon? Yeah. Okay. How typical. <laughs> we have a man in the, who is a mon, or a mon who is a man. Or maybe he taught his Pokemon how to talk. A Pokemon? Doubt it. <laughs> a Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> That was some slick shit. <laughs> Alright, we're now going to face off against our second gym leader, which is But Misty. some joke-off got here first. <laughs> <laughs> we will meet again. <laughs> you joke. Male diver. Very revealing I mean, I mean, well, speedo at, there. Like, at least that's how they classify him in Gen 6. They always classify him as male swimmers or female swimmers. Like They started like, as a Gen like, 6. Literally, I can't, like, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, have you ever seen the Korean Miss La Lady Miss Lady Boy pageant? No. No. Attaboy. Have you okay. seen the Spanish translation of Final Fantasy VII? Okay, then. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> Elliot, I'm looking for context here. 
it what? said it said that the um, Final Fantasy VII Spanish translation is is by far the worst translation. Oh yeah. Like, oh oh. Like, how bad are we talking here? Like, can you give me an example? They they confused Tifa as a guy. Oh, I see. <laughs> Check out my mess of things. They're huge. <laughs> Johnny, getting beaten by a little girl, decides to turn around and go fight the real one. <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> like, I had a clarification, like, I'm a man. <laughs> and meet Misty. Who's actually in a swimsuit before Yellowwood did after to the anime look. What would you say that the biggest issue that would start me when it comes to Gen 1? Uh, is it bubble Beam and it's high speed and yeah. high special attack. It's speed. Oh, you know, this thing got a high speed I think, and it got a good special I, attack, so I have to make use of that mobile beam. I think, I, think it's the, I think it's the high speed for me. That. It's the speed, but the special attack is not to be taken lightly. Thankfully, you know, you're playing Thankfully, you're playing on Misty's typing, AI type ignorance. So after you defeat Misty, you can actually... Was it after you defeat Misty and you can gain you access... You have to defeat Misty. ...to gain access to this house, and you find out that the guy who stole... The TM dig is actually standing right in the backyard of the house. He stole it from. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I'm surprised in this game or in any other RPG you don't get arrested for breaking and entering. No. <laughs> if Link doesn't, we won't. <laughs> have, you noticed some, have you noticed some strange activity here, sir? Well, like what? There was in the world guy, of Pokemon a, that would be a good question. There was a guy in your backyard punching trees. He said he was trying to build a cabin. <laughs> <laughs> He's EV training. Can you look like a whale lord? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no, you can trip away, Lord. <laughs> you know, first time looking at Drowsy, I always thought like he was just dipped in mud and then it dried up. <laughs> Elliot, face yourself. <laughs> face I think he just took a dip in the <laughs> face your fears. There's well, a general rule of thumb. You. A Pokemon do not evolve while they're in the daycare center. Yeah. So if Magikarp's at level 19 and it evolves to level 20, well, guess what? You're not getting a Gyarados back. Yeah. So. Two other th another thing. They'll constantly learn moves, yeah. but it'll constantly push upward. Yeah. In other words, if you have four moves on your Pokemon and learns the fifth move, the move on top is kicked out the gate. Yeah, it seems this Kadabra wants to learn Tail Whip. Better get rid of the Psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Corpity Corp. So this is Gyarados. Look right at now. that stat boost. Fuck I just missed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fair Pokemon. You know what it is. Yeah. I leave Abra in the daycare until level 15. Yep. Remember, we can only take his word for it unless we see it. It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Abra has reached level 16. It becomes a Kadabra. Where do you get the spoon? Don't know. Why would my evolution include silverware? <laughs> Remember that prehistoric axe it was holding? Did it come out that? Yeah. There's there's a little hole that, that takes out spoons like cell from no, Dragon Ball No, it just <laughs> it's a built-in spoon dispenser. <laughs> no, it's, he sculpted it into a spoon. <laughs> he, he has to pay 25 cents for a spoon. Oh. And every time he bends one, he has to pay another 25 cents. The moment cents. Abra becomes Kadabra and learns confusion, so now it can defend itself. Or fight. Thank God. The, the hell? I cheated in a Pokemon Stadium 1. I used an Abra that could... I used an Abra with Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Ice Punch for Jet 2 and traded it back. <laughs> The, 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 the announcer was pissed. He was like, oh, what's this? I was like, yeah, I can do two fuck with. Someone's time traveling. <laughs> Ratata. Uh. Oh, really? He is a fucking Gyarados. <laughs> <laughs> Gyarados going friggin' eat it. Yeah, that's what he just did. <laughs> He's the atrocious Pokemon, don't you know? Yeah. I mean, level 20 Butterfree, that's the way it should be. Yeah, yeah right. When you use Bite, I could have I, I saw... Next to the t next to the eyes, I saw B L E, B L E Bible. B Gyarados uh, uses Bible. What? All right, Gyarados is not a Jehovah's Witness, Elliot. <laughs> he uses Bible and it starts quoting Bible you verses. You the world of the Bible by throwing it at you. <laughs> Do you have time to discuss our Lord and Savior? No. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> Let's see. Who's this one have? This oh, one has Pidgey. a pitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ruin my mystery, will ya, <laughs> jerk? <laughs> Far-fetched. A rare Pokemon for its rarity. By the way, it's also a joke. Because... <laughs> no, 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 seriously. Like, the gimmick of the Pokemon is to land critical hits with its held item, the stick, which becomes available in Gen 2, yeah. which jacks up its critical hit ratio. Yeah. The Pokemon itself is a bit of a humorous joke. Because it's a duck, armed with a leek stalk, with a green onion leek stalk. Both of which go good in this stew. <laughs> <laughs> That's a walking meal you gotta Damn fight it. for. It is a walking meal. Yeah. It Damn does. it. <laughs> so this is the house of the Pokemon fan club. 
It was probably molesting Ted in a hidden room. <laughs> <laughs> and to keep our li- this to is keep, this and to is, keep our lips shut, he gives us a bike voucher. <laughs> this is Ted's comeuppance for for making me an Abra. Not uh, Abra. Ted already has his problems being a Badoof. A <laughs> Teddy Oof. Uh, wait, it wasn't I love Abra, it was Art. I gotta tell you, I love Deviant Art. I love it when you. I love, I love uh, it when you can find that diamonds through the mire. I just, uh, I, lo- I love our brain, our brain scratch Deviant Art club. I do too. Johnny, I'm confused. Why do you need a bicycle if you could just teleport? Because Man, shut so, up. Cause so- <laughs> there you go. Smart ass retort. Not needed. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a high density of rocket members. You, you first encounter them in Mount Moon. You say high density? High density. High density. High density. Wow. If you guys you- want to feel free to correct me instead of just questioning it, then go right ahead. Nah, I just Until noticed. Then, I thought that's what you said. I was like, okay. What? Would it be percentage rate? High percentage rate. High condensity. The, the, the High jump kick. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but the first, but the first gen, but the first gen gentleman looked like crotchety old fox. <laughs> well, this one I think is actually no, not this one. I think it's the next one, the next gentleman we fight. I think it's either to the right or left here. He actually pisses that we get we go inside his room. <laughs> like a little shit. <laughs> what? He's pissed off that you're breaking and entering. Yeah, the, the wow. nerve. <laughs> <laughs> But the SSN is a mandatory place to go to because we do need the HM1 cut in order to progress because that goddamn tree's in our way. Yeah, I know, Lieutenant Search. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Search is greatest defense is the uh, weed whacker. <laughs> I'm spoiling a bit here, but one of the uh, and, uh, uh, Gen 6, where you fight one of the Team Flare grunts, after you meet him, he gets pissed right off and, st- and he says, I'm not budging an inch from this spot, and he doesn't. And that's the shortcut to where you need to get around. I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> If any other Team Flare showed this kind of restraint, I would never beat the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what should we call it? Bubble in Gen 6 got powered up to 40, so now it's weak. So now it's better than Water Gun because it has... Oh, fuck. Because it has the ability to... Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. I didn't know that. God damn it. I told... I, I mentioned it in a Facebook post. Keep an eye on the power moves, on the power of the moves, because they all got fluctuated. I'm sorry, just that the previous five generations, Bubble was weaker than Water Gun. Now Bubble like, has... Now Bubble was more, a little more powerful. No, than bubbles water on gun. the same power as water gun, but bubble can cause a speed okay. reduction. So it's a better. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Why would you be underneath this truck? <laughs> Maybe you got his tail stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking drunk driver. <laughs> a drunk I'm... driver. You got a truck on a little <laughs> island in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, beyond... God, how did you fuck that up? <laughs> there is drug beyond levels of comprehension. <laughs> I believe- there's drunk and then there's sober as I am. I gotta fucking try this. <laughs> I'll dare you barge into my room. You fucking jerk off for you. I'm a gentleman. <laughs> you make it sound like a redneck British man. A redneck British man. <laughs> oh, Chris. Anyway, he's packing the poisons and out they go. Oh, 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 oh this one has a hidden indoor ability. <laughs> Your cadaver is in the bottom percentage of cadaver, dude. <laughs> Damn. Yes, yeah, so he has two HP left. <laughs> <laughs> so, will there be boobs? Absolutely. I'm in. Kid, you're eight. <laughs> no, prop, no, ten. No. Remember, we fought youngsters earlier. Yeah. And they look way younger than ten. Yeah, Making because... Which, why do we have to wait to the... Why is there... An, I thought there was an age of consent on this sort of thing. <laughs> what, to go on a Pokemon journey? Yeah. yeah. Ten. Yeah, but we fight youngsters. They're ten, too. They're not ten. They're eight. They look like kids. They look like eight, but they might be ten. Yeah, Preschoolers, they're, they're I got nothing for. <laughs> <laughs> My personal favorite was Unova. Unova in black and white, too. I'm afraid to go fuck a toddler with a gibble, a Jatini, and a Larvitar. I'm like, well... Or the Bagan. I'm like... And by the way, there are levels they should be... Uh, Dragonite, Solomons, and, um... Dragonite, Solomons, and Gartrop. I'm like, oh, fuck me! <laughs> Someone has a rich parent. It, it, like, completely threw off the role of the Age of Consent to be a Pokemon trainer. After a point, you get sick of fighting Machops. <laughs> oh, we're only six parts in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is your fault. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was sick of it, but I'll endure it. After all, you must endure sickness before you get better. Yeah, very true. The night is darkest before the dawn. Amen to that. <laughs> right and you the, are, Ken. And the dawn is like 20 <laughs> parts away. <laughs> you either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And I'm not a fly here. <laughs> exactly. 
Your cadaver just learned to disable. Therefore, it's now powerfully chick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you learned to disable, it didn't become disabled. <laughs> cadaver gets the best parking spots. <laughs> a lot of churches will use a cadaver just to score the handicap parking suits. <laughs> And one thing I absolutely hate about Gen 1, I'm not sure if Gen 2 did it too, box switching. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ, box. You see, what happens here in this game, folks, is that uh, I believe it's like staying limit, though, like 20, 30 Pokemon per box. 20 Pokemon per box. 20 Pokemon per box. Here's the thing, though. If that box gets full, you can't catch anything until you go back to a Pokemon Center and switch the box out. So, you're on the verge of catching that Mewtwo or Legendary Bird, and your box is full? Too fucking bad. Go back and switch the box out. They thankfully Our, fixed that in later generations. I remember how bad that was with Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh was like, yo, your box is full. I'm like, I got Ultra Balls here. <laughs> I had to go all the way down the Tid Tower. What the hell was going back the ball? <laughs> <laughs> I can carry the ball. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Oh, uh, wild joke off appears. And now you're sending out the Gadabra with piss poor physical defense as Skull Kraken will demonstrate. Ooh, Crunch! I thought Kadabra, look, at that, look at that ball drop. I thought Kadabra would, would just throw the spoon at Garrett. It's like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Kadabra used teleport. <laughs> and Charmander evolved into Charmeleon. Why, I, oh, that's what Charmeleon looks like. <laughs> Charmeleon is a member of the Minnesota Bats. <laughs> rub, rub. Rub, rub. Yeah, I rub the left side of my shoulder, bitch. <laughs> I feel much better. Why couldn't I get any ginger ale or Pepto Bisball? <laughs> what is ginger ale or Pepto Bisball? <laughs> Not mixed together. Okay, so we got the HM1 ginger Bisball. Cut. Ew. And if you want to, you can view the trash can to see the guy's vomit. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Uh, cherry pie. <laughs> hey, a lumberry. <laughs> <laughs> <Can you? laughs> That's disgusting. Hey, he also spoke about his status is eat it, my champ. <laughs> eat it, skull crack. <laughs> Curtis is like <laughs> in the rare instances where it closes its mouth. <laughs> no, he looks around. He turns around and eats you. <laughs> Spiro versus Spiro. Hey, man, you got the good Kush. Yeah, I got the good Kush. You got that good Kush. I like. Do you even know what Kush is? What the fuck is Kush? <laughs> <laughs> it goes in a stew. <laughs> it, it's good with far-fetched, man. Let's go with brownies. Okay. <laughs> the Kush brownies. <laughs> Alright, welcome to part 7 of the Pokemon Generation 1 Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. What say we defeat another gym leader? Who is it? Uh, I was fucking violent. What say, say we, we do that gym later, leader. actually? Because we have a place to locate now. There is no America. Only there's, no Spain, there's no Spain anymore, so how the hell they find me? Oh, not Spain. <laughs> There's no Brazil anymore either, so, or South America, so they wonder how the hell they found you. South Unova. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> there is no Peter, only Zul. I'm now imagining, like, every time you go to, um, South Unova, you, every time a car beeps you, it's like, Kukuracha. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we meet something rare in the world of Pokemon. A white man. <laughs> Rockin' a mohawk. Well, it's Sprite is, anyway. Back in my day. Remember when Lieutenant Surge in the anime was fucking monstrous? Yeah, he was a... It was a Goliath! I went back and watched that episode. Yeah, that is huge! He's a fucking Goliath! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, holy shit, this is early artwork at its finest because they fucked up scale royally. Oh yeah, the uh, gym leaders in, um... The gym leaders in Gen 1 are likely to use X accuracy, X boosting items to help boost their stats up. Oh, you mean wasting a turn? Oh, well, it's wasted good turn, but it could help them in the long run if you're not prepared for it. Nah, I never had any of those problems when it comes to using The only problems I have is when I use four stores and high potions. Yeah. <laughs> Raichu! If you're fighting uh, Is that Pikachu with blackface? Uh, no, just darker skin. <laughs> Holy shit. Where the hell do you see blackface? The toilet covered in black is like, hey, dog! That, what? I think you may be reaching, man. I may be reaching, indeed. If you're fighting yellow version of Lieutenant Surge, it only has Raichu, but it's at level 20. Mega Punch and Mega Kick. Yeah. Jesus. So you got a trade-off between... You got more Pokemon to fight or a stronger Raichu. But if you got Diglett anyway, you're not losing this battle, folks. Who would have thought a little thumb would do so much? <laughs> a little thump that wouldn't. I've actually tried to give Diglett a thumbs up. Are you making me? <laughs> <laughs> it's thumbs up is just going slightly higher up. <laughs> and then you fight Dugtree and he gets annoyed. It turns around. <laughs> <laughs> Nature's middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Johnny. 
My sea serpent can learn Thunderbolt. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the thing, though. Like, what determines compatibility with, when it comes to moves? Whatever they decide. Whatever they decide. Yeah. yeah. Gyarados can learn Fire Blast? <laughs> well, that I accept a little more than Thunderbolt. Yeah. What was the weirdest one you've ever seen? The weirdest one I've ever seen? Yeah. Usually, I think it's when it's contradictory uh, moves. Voltorb, you sucker punch! <laughs> <laughs> it's just standing there. <laughs> Charizard, Ice Beam, what? <laughs> <laughs> Gore Geist, Flamethrower. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, I actually got hit with that. It was funny as hell, too, because my Magnezone was low on health, and I thought I could tank it because it was a grass to ghost. It hit me with Flamethrower. It's like, bullshit! And I was like, wait. A giant Jack O' Lantern, and I didn't expect a Flamethrower? <laughs> my, my joke, Tail Whip. <laughs> Taunt. <laughs> Smacks its ass at you. Taunt. Yeah. <laughs> the gambler class was a fucking pain in my dick in Pokemon Stadium 1 because they would go for the instant kill moves, which were augmented based off of speed. And his team was high speed Pokemon. Horn drill, fissure, guillotine, all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. And which would always end up with my team getting fucking off before I could do anything. Is everything that's a pain to you a pain to your dick? It, no! <laughs> Ellie, I'm only that's where, that's, where my dick that's where Matt's pain receptors are. <laughs> yeah. That's where your pain receptors are, too, buddy. Wanna He's find out? He's impervious to everywhere except the dick. You ever get kicked in the dick? I never kicked in the dick. I kicked in the nuts. Nuts, dick, A, B. <laughs> I don't think kicking kick in the dick is about as painful as getting kicked in the nuts. Twice so. That's where your testicles are. Absolutely. That's when the game <laughs> stopped. That's where, like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Dude, look at Diglett from the side. It looks happy as shit. I think that's a mouse. It's like, ah! <laughs> I'm gonna kill all your Pokemon. <laughs> the face of evil. You're not really floating. <laughs> Does this look like the face of mercy? <laughs> <laughs> so just from that one side, Ooh, right? Magnemite evolution. Magneton. Magneton. Shit. And for our last trainer of this route, we have another gambler, who I believe uses a Voltorb and something else. I'll be asked if it's an electrode. He just throws out the same Voltorb. Get out there! <laughs> Turn it upside down and put some faceplate on it. <laughs> what about the eyes? That's what I mean. The faceplate is the eyes. It's actually a Voltorb. Just turn it upside down. <laughs> Turning around and upside down is a two face. Yeah. <laughs> that's also a skin zone. <laughs> I want to know a bomb. No, I can't. I want a sonic boom. Well, I want to explode. <laughs> they, never really go into, they never really go into mental disorders when it comes to Pokemon. Can you see imagine that kind of shit? <laughs> I like that's something we need to worry about. <laughs> Assuming Pokemon blocks the way. God yeah, just climb walk. over it. Yeah, God forbid we walk around the fucking thing. I think, I think we found Matt. <laughs> oh, that, that's just meta. That is some meta shit. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Matt, I like that little motion. Came. That's like, oh, I'm shaking my fist at you. Matt, the opportunity <laughs> came. The oh, what, it came? The opportunity came for a fat trip. Yeah, hey, I'll take it. Ow. <laughs> hey, lay it on me. Come on. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give me all the shit you got. Oh, shit. Oh, Doug Trio. <laughs> You're it's in the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker. <laughs> made of, made, it's, a, it's a mob formed by the ang by three angry diglet you beat. <laughs> the souls of diglet. Three angry diglets. <laughs> Twelve angry diglets in a quarter <laughs> What's the what's the case? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that silence calls for dramatic music. <laughs> Boy, well, you're, you're, you you killed a plant. Yeah, Johnny's just taking his time now to get some weed whack and dumb. No wonder why. No wonder why there's the deforestation in Kanto. Ah, oh, dish. <laughs> 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 oh, that's why I saved that. <laughs> Boo! Bell sprouts, Gen One spray. It's fucking! It looks like it's all. It looks like it's all cancer. <laughs> on cancer. On cancer. cancer. <laughs> oh, that poor thing! It's on the cancer. Wait, no, the trainer said, "Who's that walking with good-looking Pokemon?" Shaft. I said, "Yeah, I, I, I kept on. I, I thought of Sha the Shaft song." <laughs> Damn right. By the way, this is something that only this gen, gen 2, and gen 5 would do. And that is... Oh, not gen 2. Gens 1, 2, and 4 are the only gens where other trainers may actually have another fucking starter. 
Oh, like, like trying to. Yeah, Gen to Three, Five, and Six is like only you guys have starters. The rest, fuck them. Because you're special. My Tyrants actually has Dragon Tail. Yeah, that's a uh, sixty power. If you hit a Pokemon with it, you always go second. But if you hit a Pokemon with it, they eject from the battle. So yeah. it's like a pseudo. So it's a pseudo switcher as well. It, it actually ends the battle with if it's a if it's, if it's against a wild Pokemon. Yeah, you beat it out of the park and ain't coming back. <laughs> On the other hand, you can probably, there's probably like a competition where you can see how far you hit it. You you, like, you, like, <laughs> you hit it and the Pokemon when, when it goes out. Like, Jesus Christ. Christ! I want that now. Dragon Tail Baseball. <laughs> and Ty Rancho, here comes the fast Voltorb. Oh, it used Dragon Tail. It's going, going, gone! It explodes in the air. It explodes. <laughs> Self so you also save on fireworks costs when you win. It, it explodes <laughs> in the air and you don't know whether it's a home run or not because it's right in the middle between the parking lot and the stadium. <laughs> Hot fly. Hey, remember that the Pokemon short in the first movie, um, Pikachu's Vacation? Yeah, what about it? There would be those like, um, those like, those like, um, transitions. They would just show a different Pokemon. Yeah. And then Slowpoke came up. Oh, yeah, the... <laughs> I think you're still doing that to this day. <laughs> no. What, the, what is it? Is it... Is it what? <laughs> Mad stop. Now, Reno's, now our hero is on the run from creepy bald fat guys. <laughs> creepy fat guys in a dark ca cavern. Are we in Rock Tunnel or in a Taku convention? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'd say Otaku <laughs> Convention. Otaku <laughs> Convention's have better lighting. <laughs> <laughs> they do? But it smells just the same. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I don't look forward to when it comes to going to conventions. The fucking low levels of personal hygiene. Hey, we wash. I think it We wash, but not everyone else. I think, uh, I think it depends on the convention. Sturdy. Oh, oh God, we're I above hate sturdy. Well, <laughs> almost every rock type has sturdy. No, what makes it worse on them is that... Unlike Bulldor, unlike the Rock and Roll Alliance, which would usually be too level at the area you want them in to have explosion, yeah. Gravelers do. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um. Although I had a few laughs and a half with it with my aunt, with my uh, double in Gen Six. Yeah. Wow, Graveler, you self-destruct. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to get my way around fairy types. Really, it's it, that's what usually There's happens. There's no. No, no, I mean, it's how, no, I'm not saying, like, uh, it's it's baffling the fuck out of me. It's, like, something you gotta get used to. Yeah, I know. Especially with Pokemon that had their types changed or added, like... Gem 6 is the fairy gem. Yeah. So you'll get more than enough fairies there. Fairies! <laughs> <laughs> what, and it said when Geodude finds its legs, it becomes Graveler. I think it still does have four arms, Matt. It does have four arms. It's just, like, it's leaning at you like this. It's like leaning it's at you like you. this, like it's gonna tackle you or something yeah. like that. That'd be a while before we run into a goal. Surprise, butt sex! <laughs> My body is ready! <laughs> Magic Johnson says, relax your muscles. Magic Johnson? Remember that picture? That's kind of not funny considering Magic Johnson has eight. No, but remember that picture, though? I forgot which game it was. The it NES. was just him smiling. Oh, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that one. Right, just for the sake of making sure everyone's cut the speed, I'll post the picture on the video. <laughs> 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 What are you saying? Prepare your anus? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's the grin, I think. That's what it is. It's just, the grin always fucked me up. Yeah, I think it was the grin. <laughs> the last thing I remember watching from South Park recently was their ass Asperger's episode. Oh, oh Jesus. Carmen sticks a whole bunch of burgers in his pants and goes to see the school of nerds. <laughs> and then the nurse pulls one out and Carmen goes, Oh no, I got Asperger's! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Here's a question: If you were Pokemon trainers and you ran out of food, would you eat your Pokemon as a last? They would eat me before I ate them. Is it a farfetch? <laughs> any, any Pokemon. It could be any Pokemon. Dude, you, you can you can make your Squirtle or War Turtle or Blastoise into into turtle soup. They'll kill you before They'll you kill, kill you them. Before number you get one. The chance. I these fucking metal cannons, Elliot. <laughs> yeah, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gardos, I'm hungry, and then. Ow. Like, would you do it though? No. If if you could. No. We would we would hunt down other wild Pokemon and eat them. Jesus. Golden rule of thumb for Pokemon, Elliot. Whatever animal you has, if the eyes look cute, it's unevolved. If the eyes look angry, it's evolved. Yes. <laughs> That's why Skull Kraken is a nasty motherfucker. Hasn't been sleeping this whole time. Yeah. I haven't seen <laughs> it. It's arrogant. <arrogance. laughs> it's Van Dark. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it was kind of, yeah, there's always hyphens in those, uh, ha's. Alright, this hiker wants to fight. I'm gonna send out my sleeping Scarados. Scarados? Scarados, yeah. What the? <laughs> what is Gyarados Alright, Geodude. Geodude, you have one job. It is. Nope. You missed the sleeping target! <laughs> you, you missed a giant sleeping <laughs> target! <laughs> what? Sit down again! You fucking asshole! No, I am the size of a. I am the size of a you parked suck. car! <laughs> you missed four times! <laughs> Wow, you deserve this. Fuck a parked car. I think it's the size of a sleeping s ship. <laughs> a sleeping ship? Yeah, yeah dude. Gyarados is like 21 meters. Gyarados, yeah, Gyarados is huge. And it flies. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Why do you need a name raider in this day and age just to have a freaking change your nickname? Why can't I just do that at will? Don't know. It's my po it's my Pokemon, my Bond. Why the fuck do I need some stranger with goofy glasses telling me why? How do I rate my nickname? This is Bill. Well, now it's Jerry. Okay. <laughs> me and my Pokemon skull cracking. Now it's Teddy. Come on, Teddy. <sighs> really? <laughs> hey, you're listening to the Lavender Town Radio Station. Today we mourn our Growlithe. <laughs> oh, Christ. But it's not just a place where Pokemon are buried. There's you trainers. can also play Pokemon here. <laughs> As we'll see with our next rival battle, Gary. So, so you're battling on top of the dead Cubone mother's grave. Yes. No, that's, that's, shit. that's further up. But oh, still, it's Jesus. still a grave site. For fuck's sake. They're actually palm seeds, but again, this is a case of drawing Sprite fuck up because they're actually supposed to be all the same size. Yeah. And for you some missed. reason, that one in the back how is did it huge. Miss? I don't know how I missed it. How the fuck did you miss that? <laughs> Even they're in disbelief. Look at the side yeah. of their face. It's a giant freaking egg. Oh, Add oh, a shit. Add it's being completely out. impressed by your showing. He gets a Gyarados of his own. So. And he cheated. This fucker has Hydro Pump. Really? What? At 22. Ah, well, Gyarados is also four times weak to electricity. So fuck you, Gyarados. Thank you. Damn it! <laughs> We're back with Major League Cricket. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no context to that whatsoever. And the, this, is, this is what you run into without the Sylph scope. Ghosts. You can't attack them. If you attempt to, you'll be you'll shit your pants, really. But but your Pokemon is shitting their is shitting themselves yeah, on but the floor. Yeah, but they're not losing HP. Well, they're shitting the floor, meaning there's going to be a lot of mess for them to clean up. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a question: Is there a law against Pokemon shit? Do you have to pick it up with a plastic is bag? There a three hundred dollar po three hundred Pokemon dollar. It depends upon the size of the Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> In other words, if it's something tiny like a uh, Pikachu, a Growlithe, a Machop, you're fine. If you got a Gyarados, you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a five thousand oh, dollar. I need a bigger bag. Bigger bag? Fuck you! You need a trash truck. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you need a dump. Yeah. Johnny, you know what you need? A dump truck. No. Oh. But a dish. <laughs> you have to die. <laughs> Try the field. Damn it, Matt. <laughs> oh, come oh, on. That, that, was, that was good. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> so when it comes to me, you, you're just like, you just face bomb. But it when it comes to Matt, depends. you have freaking gold. If it's good, look, the, the, the key to jokes, at least from my perspective, is timing and the quality of it. Timing, quality, and context. If everybody can make a dick joke. Everybody can make a shit joke. Or vulgar human in general. But if you got good timing, it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, exactly. Unless it's, you know, something dark. Unless you're Bob Saget, where you have no timing for any of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Haunter. Oh, Haunter. What, what the fuck? Yep, that's what Haunter looks it like. It looks like he's geeked on speed. <laughs> God damn, this is a go car cocaine. <laughs> Freddy Krueger clip from Nightmare 3. What a rush. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, I'll show it to you later. Yeah, I, I'll, I gotta I'll, look I at that see now. A picture of that. Earth. Quah! Is that Chandler or Tim Taylor? It was a Tim <laughs> <laughs> It's channeling Tim Taylor. <laughs> it's channeling Tim Taylor. It's not, it's not far-fetched. <laughs> no. <laughs> God. I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> a rare candy. You're really going to eat something that was that was in something else that could have been stomach? Two Cliff Fairies. Thanks, Lass. Oh yeah, um, there was actually this Vine video I actually saw of a Pokemon. It was it was in the, it was the anime. It said, "Who's that Pokemon?" It was called Fairy, but the guy yelled, "It was Pikachu." And like when they said it's called Fairy, the yeah, guy just like, yelled, "Fuck!" Yeah, it was like, "God damn it!" Ah! I know what you're talking about. It's like, "It's Pikachu!" <laughs> it's Clefairy. Fuck! Dude, Grimer got pissed. 
Oh, you bitch! No! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I do like that. <laughs> that you finally, especially after you fight, if you fight her last, I and mean, ignoring those, like we have to look fucking ridiculous, Danny. Here, like <laughs> five Pokemon, all cutesy: Pidgey, Pikachu, I think two Nidorans, yeah. and uh, Stalin. Wait, did you say Nidoran? Yeah. Tomato, tomato. Nidoran, Nidoran. Growl is here. Bulpix is here. Bellsp yeah. Bellsprout Aradish is here. Pidgey's here, and the Rattata's here. First fucking encounter! <laughs> <laughs> you are the worst Pokedex hunter ever. <laughs> oh Alright, let me see how many... What the fucking Pokemon you started with? I like them. Oh, this Porygon's 9,999 coins. <laughs> Ow! Get to Gagling Sun. Ready? Do you said you're a gamble? Alright, so it's Eladon City, home of the really big department. Home store. of Dire Hit. Home of Dire Hit. <laughs> <laughs> come to Solidon City, get, get, come to Solidon City, get a well-needed knuckle sandwich. <laughs> yeah, Fire Stones, Thunder Stones, Water Stones, and Leaf Stones. For so, the you're gonna get, so your Eevee's about to get stoned? No, Pikachu's about to get stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> well, Pikachu has nothing you, else you, really You literal or... stone, I thought I was talking about getting high. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually how I got my Pikachu into a Raichu in Gen 6. That's how you're supposed That's to, you're supposed to <laughs> That's do it. That's the only way you can do it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, actually, in Gen 1 here, you can actually catch Wild Raichu. Huh. I said game. it before, and I'll say it again. If this guy just stand, stood there, that'd be it. Yeah. Game over. I'm you... going to assume the guy is younger than the trader. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and he's not right bullied. <laughs> hey! Yay! <laughs> Switch behind the poster! Christine! <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you flick the switch, and now we get access to Rocket HQ. It's another Elliot. It's inevitability. Fuck you! You ain't noticed now that Johnny's levels are outright trumping theirs. Yes. Why are you not using the Growlithe? Uh, because Growlithe is at level 19. 20. 20 sorry, I was a liar. Four. <laughs> By the way, you're about to use Dig, aren't you? Yep. You're about to go full right into Eradicate's ass. <laughs> Three times over. You gave him a Texas chili bowl. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh my god! Can I? Do I dare ask for context? No! Okay, then just leave it at that. We don't want to hurt the viewer's ears. <laughs> oh no, you're already doing that by screaming. Which, by the way, got really fucking obnoxious in God of War, so I tell you to cut it out! <laughs> <laughs> now you know I'm gonna look it up as soon as the video's over, right? And now you got subscribers all over looking at that shit too. <laughs> Some of them are kids too, Ollie. Christ! Uh, I don't wanna. Uh, I don't feel like looking at it because I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> Just we'll do, do it after. Order the pizza first. Yes, please. <laughs> Oh Jesus! <laughs> Kids watch our show. <laughs> <laughs> I want a picture now. I want a picture now of a Doug trio looking in front of a full force, full course Mexican meal, like a literal, also, like, a literal Texas chili bowl. Yeah, like going, a chili what? bowl from Tex, a chili bowl from Texas. Yeah, you know, so that's the kid friendly version. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm and gonna you see that actually sounds good. I'm gonna but take that's a guess. not what the context you're going I'm gonna take a guess that Doug Trio is is part of the chili. No. You, just, they're, they're the bees. You no, just see no, their no. faces floating. Elliot, too much. Too much. All you're doing is just having the Doug Trio going, look up cutely and go, what? <laughs> that's not what I expected. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. <laughs> I have no idea where we're going. <laughs> what were we battling? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Matt, I believe you. We <laughs> <laughs> show off every trainer battle. Nothing will happen except for Texas chili bowls. When we're bored. <laughs> that's why. That's why you're only, That's the only reason why you brought it up. We're bored. <laughs> we're fighting trainers all over the damn time. No, we're not. Uh, it was just. It was way. only part ten. <laughs> we're not even bored. It's just what the that's fuck. Exactly. Like, oh. No. When you fight trainers over and over again, your mind wanders because there's only so much you can say about the 63rd Rattata you ran into. <laughs> You know? a, he had to come up with saying that you, that Doug Trio is going right up Radicate's ass. 
<laughs> oh, I, that I did, but you really had to bring up the three finger Texas chili. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, back to the action here. Did you know that oh, it's another attempt? <laughs> what a quote action. What were you saying about? Uh, play, oh, fuck. Ow. Uh, Later on, my ass. Kinda... <laughs> <laughs> ever, since, ever since act and intent has been proven to determine what elements go into a crime or whatever goes into a malicious act, you have to be kind of knowing what you're doing is not right. Fraud, no, you, you, theft. No, I think there's a difference, though, between knowing what you're doing and knowing what's right. No, because you can know what you're doing and still think and just still know it's completely wrong. No, but identity then, but theft. Then, but then, no, no, here's the thing, though. What are you doing? Committing identity theft. Do you know that it's wrong? Yeah. Does hold, hold on. I'm talking about from the perspective of the guy that's doing it. Yeah, he does. That's why he's doing it. No, but he know. I think there's a difference between knowing what he's doing and knowing if it's right. Or, from his perspective, that's the key word there. His perspective, Johnny. You don't look at identity theft and go, "Hey, I'm gonna do this just because it's fucking funny." No. You're doing that, that to build somebody's identity. That, that, to me, that mindset is true evil. That's what it is. The, I'm, that's what I'm saying. You're, you're playing in what I'm saying. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. It's true and I believe evil. there's a difference between knowing what you're doing and whether or not it's right or wrong. It's two different mind. That's two different equations to the... What? Side. Matt, what I'm getting at here is... Johnny, way, you, but, there by are acts by the way, that, there by the way, are acts by the way, that people are right and wrong. It's clear as day. As I'm well talking as good and evil. I, not from our perspective. I'm talking about from the perspective of the one that's doing it. But that. Well, but what? But then, where does the fine line come between? I'm talking about his justifications. His justifications are good. Just as wrong as lies. No, I'm talking about from the mindset of the guy that's doing it. Whether or not what, what you're not getting what I'm saying here. So here, anyway, this is the well, Pokemon Generation One. Let's play. <laughs> so let me see if I got this straight. If a guy looks at you and says, "Oh, I didn't know," we just let him off. No, that no, not as a means for incriminating him. I'm talking about what, how he views it as. That's what I'm talking about. Johnny, not whether or not how the justice system applies to it. Johnny, that's not what I'm getting at. Johnny, whether or not what a person thinks is not irrelevant. In other words, you can't be. I'm not somebody. talking about incriminating him. I'm. To, I'm not talking about when it comes to. Hey, Johnny, if I wanted him. to rob you because I wanted your iMac, am I in the right? Say, wait, well, hold on. I'm getting distracted by the Kangaskhan. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Kangaskhan, by the way, I don't know why you use Body Slam. It has no special stat whatsoever to make use of, so you can easually pummel it with any stab attack and get rid of it. Kangaskhan always makes problems solved. Yeah, right. Think <laughs> <laughs> of the children. <laughs> okay. We did, that's why we shot it. Yeah. <laughs> but now that we have the Soul Scoop, we can identify that ghost, and it is... Haunter. Nope. A Who the Marowak. fuck is that? The dead Marowak. That's just possessive, that ain't it? Yeah. We should catch it. Yeah. <laughs> Ellie? You? You're defiling the oh. dead. Oh, please. What the? Ellie, that's the whole point of ghost Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I have a sword that's been inhabited, that formerly was inhabited by a human, a golem that was formerly inhabited by ancient civilization, and a little stump that was inhabited by the dead, by a dead child. What's one Okay, more? so Matt, where are you getting at? Pokemon's getting more morbid. <laughs> Jesse James. Yeah. Famous American Outlaw. You, ju you just got that? Fuck! Really? <laughs> you just got that? Yes. Wow. Uh, well, yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> to, all, to all the subscribers who never made that connection. Oh, th granted, you know, it makes me feel old. Well, quick. If, that if, we have kids let's watching just, this. Let's just act like, what the fuck? So how many Rocketeers did we have to beat? Three. Rocketeers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all... Gonna abuse and use all the Pokemon for cash. R O C K E T E E E R S. That's three E's. And There's only have, two. And they have jetpacks. <laughs> and they have jetpacks. <laughs> and skull cracking lays waste to Elliot. Fuck you. Ah, bitch. Remember when Radicate was a threat? <laughs> and now it gets the three finger we No, I was hoping we'd go another part without mentioning that. It Which, by the way, I've read the comments at this point. We scarred many kids. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we may have made a few of them lose our lunch. S sorry, guys. <laughs> Elliot apologized. <laughs> yeah, that's good to make things right as rain. Imagine the parents. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I don't think we ever got into the reason why we're here in the first place. We're here to find Mr. Fuji. The mountain? No, that's, that's, Fiji. that's Mount Fiji. Oh. That's, <laughs> no, it is Mount Fuji. No, it's Mount Fuji. Japan. Fiji's the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
going to be a very hard mountain to scale. You can't put your foot on it. <laughs> How do I climb this? <laughs> Sploosh. Oh, fuck. No. Damn it. Sploosh. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, because Erica's an asshole, her things are surrounded by shrubbery, so you gotta get an HM sleep for cut. Wait, who's yeah. the asshole? Erica. Erica. She's uh, an asshole in the anime anyway. I thought you said Aerith. Aerith the asshole. <laughs> I'll cut you. And we do a comment <laughs> I'll cut you a piece of pie. <laughs> I'm imagining that now. Pumpkin pie! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is an all chick gym. Because Erica's a sexist. And a pothead. Huh? <laughs> I don't get pothead out of Erica. I Dude, will admit she did. I will admit she does dab in the uh, Val Plume stun spore a bit much, but uh. <laughs> but that that's all conjecture. <laughs> but, what pure grass type Pokemon do we have in this game? Tangela. That's it. Isn't that's it? it. The little ball of vines. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine bathing that thing in something like barbecue sauce or sloppy Joe and just throwing it like a food fight? It's like a it's like a slab of ground meat. It's a slab of grass. <laughs> yeah. you, you throw it, it goes back to you, and then throw it again. Oh no. Oh, switch out, Johnny. It's gonna do the terrible roll. Oh, no, ah. Dark Trail was paralyzed. Nope. No Which, more three finger Texas like, chili. Ah. I had to bring that up. By the way, I like. I saw this one gif of Bellsprout doing its little dance in front of uh, Team Rocket. It's like this. It's like, how do you like me, baby? <laughs> What, for the anime? Yeah. <laughs> for the record, for the audience, Matt was just was just pelvic thrust in the air. While sitting down. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I do it. <laughs> <laughs> the best exercise you get all day, Matt. All week. All week. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Day like I fucking go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if a fat person were to get robbed by someone at gunpoint and he runs into a Planet Fitness, the robber wouldn't think about going in there. Hey, that's what I do to get away from my thugs. <laughs> 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 you, heard, you heard that right. If you're a guy walking to a woman's restaurant, for <laughs> he'll never go in there. They know yeah. how to work in a battle. Yes. That's why they're later renamed Ace Trainers. Yes. Shit. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> you, Doug <laughs> <Trail. laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> spritz, spritz. Oh, fuck. How did... And you lost to a guy named Asshat? <laughs> no, 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 joke off. No, no, it's Ash Ketchup. <laughs> Squirt, squirt. Okay, that they're all done. Let's head for Erica herself. So what? She's Mother Nature, apparently. No, she just likes to doze off. She sniffs the. She hits the sleep powder a bit much. She takes the victory bell, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, to stick your cancer is so worth it because of this weed. She's a female. She's a female. Okay then. Well, females kind of have testes, I think. Yeah, so I mean, might as well just say like. Macho looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he was like. He, like he looks like a deformed turtle. I didn't even, no, I, I didn't even give you a deformed turtle. I was just I, looking at his face. Yeah, but, yeah, but um, by the face and head, it looks like a turtle. You know what it is? It's his eyes. Yeah, it is his <laughs> eyes wide <laughs> open. The other one's like... The other one looks like he, he, he got clocked. That's what it is. He has a lazy eye. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Lazy eye macho. <laughs> by the way, what do you think a psychic attack is? Like, what exactly is psychic? He plays with your thoughts. Do you mean, like, besides telekinesis and psychic? Cadaver, use psychic. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he just whips out a psychic. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but folks, we are just about at the end of part 11 for next uh, the next part tomorrow. It's going to be a beefer. <sighs> yeah, it's a beefer. Whatever. <laughs> Is that a word? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. It's a beefer. <laughs>